I bought Speed a custom pair of boots. About a month ago, I went to Kick Game to film an episode for their YouTube channel. In this video, I came across the Yeezy Foam Runner, which Speed is known for wearing. I want to get Speed a custom pair of these with studs. With studs? I want to get him boots of this. Because this is what he wears every everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you should actually yeah. do that. Here, we'll get that done. All right. We'll get that made. No, 100%. For the match. That would be yeah. hilarious. Fast forward a few weeks and they were done. We had to get it done. I'm excited. We've got a customized box. Oh! He's going to be so gassed, you know. Or he's just going to bark at me. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my days. This is... I really want him to play in this, like, so badly. A little secret as well. When they do break away underneath, it says Sui. No, it doesn't. It does. What, on that, like, on that yellow bit? Underneath, yes. Yeah, no, nah, but now I want to break them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is unbelievable. We look forward to seeing his reaction, man. So, it came to Saturday, and I knew Speed was going to be at the hotel. It was time to give him his boots. Minister, minister. So, I don't know if you saw a clip of me saying, you obviously wear those all the time, right? Yeah. So, we got a box. What's your name? <laughs> And then we got some boots for you. <laughs> and apparently this part breaks eventually and it says suey underneath. So, get us? Yeah. Minister, man, thank you so freaking much. <laughs> <laughs> We're going fucking crazy. About to bust his ass at the Simon <laughs> match. Let's go, bro. Now these boots are sick, bro. These six, about to post these with these boys, man. Shout out to my man's minister, bro. <laughs> really, bro. Fuck it, W, bro. <laughs> Can I get my boots? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, dub boots, man. Whoever made these kick games, bro, speed, demon, bro. I'm about to wear these in a charity match. Score hat tricks on this team, man. I wanna see, I wanna see a suit. I wanna Suey, see it. Even if you don't score. I'm scoring no matter what, bro. <laughs> I'm scoring no matter what. So yeah, Speed got the boots. He wore them. He warmed up in them. And he wore them in the changing room. He wore them for some of the interviews and stuff. I don't know if they were actually match ready, but the fact that he wore them, that's sick. I did my job. So did Kit Game. Shout out Kit Game. Anyways, we're back on the Reddit. 279,000 members. Best YouTube footballer. End of conversation. <sighs> No. Look, I played well in the game. I got a very good rating. I'll go through all of that in another video. I want to I wanna have a look at the charity match in a whole other video. But sadly, I'm going to disagree. My GOAT. 9.9. .9. Well, it's actually a 10 rating now. Just saying. No one's ever got a 10 rating before. Although I don't class it as a 10 rating. Because you can't just change the rating of someone because the internet said, nah, they should get a 10. That's not how it works. They gave me a 9.9. .9. I got a 9.9. .9. I'll take it. Okay, this is a cursed image. There's always cursed images from football matches. This one is, yeah, this is bad. I literally, I slide tackle Harry Panera, right? And he goes down. I kind of like hit the ball back. Like I kind of go round it and hit the ball back. And then he kind of falls over me, puts his hand down. And it goes on my hip and kind of just slides onto my crotch. But he never told me he felt anything. So, I mean, make of that what you will. And then he falls over again and touches my ass. That one he said he liked. Spot the difference. Oh my God, that kangaroo is jacked. Yeah, they actually got the same physique though. Y you know what? I'm not saying a bad word about Gibber. He smashed his fight. Didn't smash the charity match. And Ethan Gibb is really impressed with it. Oh. Had fun. That's all we care about. And he set me up for the final goal. So shout out, shout out Big Gibb. Oh, my main channel posted a poll. Who should take a penalty at the charity match? 69% lol voted for Vic. I personally think that Vic should not take the penalty as if he misses, it might damage the legacy of his 2018 penalty. I agree with you. And I actually, I didn't agree with you until a couple days before the match. And then I thought, you know what? Don't ruin the legacy. I was going to give it to Pie Face if I won one. But then Vic, he beats expectations and he scores from open play. He's literally done more than we thought. We didn't think that was possible. We thought, how can he match the penalty? Scores from open play. Banger. Vic smashed it. Why is it always Kea Simon? Well, it isn't. There's there's Minimar, as you can see. There's Kea Simon. Emon was the, the earliest thing. That was the biggest thing. I don't know what. Mini Shaw? Is that a thing? He's, he's kissed me multiple times. Me and Toby. Mini Jizzle. That doesn't sound nice. That sounds grim. Mini Zerk. Mini Vic. It's always just mini. It's boring. That's why. It's Kea Simon. It's because it, it doesn't even say why is it always Kea Simon. I've just made it about KSI. It says, why is it always Simon? Never mind. Ignore me. Some things just, you know, some things never change. Look, it's me taking a throw in, all right? And I'm taking, it's a long throw. Of course, my my back is going to bend and my arms are going to flail. How else are you going to take a throw in? The throw ins did nothing. After the second one, I realized we had the shortest team known to man. I think I was the only attacker above five foot eight. We had Manny, Toby, Vic. Who else do we have attacking? I mean, that was about it. Let's be honest. Chris MD. Look at the minute and seconds Vic scored. Goat scored when he wanted to. Oh my God. He scored at 11 minutes and 23 seconds. He literally scored at 1-1-2-3. That is... 
Fair play. Fair play to Vic. I don't know if he knows that, although the ball is actually in the goal at this point, so he actually scored before that. I'm downvoting this. <laughs> You're wrong. That's such a switch up. Well, it's because it looks sick, and then I realise, wait, the ball's already in the goal. Philly's already lifting him up. He hasn't scored at this second. He scored throughout this second. Talia now has one million subscribers! Although she needs to change her bio because it says her new single Jack, which that's not new anymore. But yeah, she has a mil subs finally. So I don't think she's going to upload anymore. She, she, she hit a mil and she gets the black now. After that, who really cares? Are there many couples that can claim the title of having both having a mil subs? Are there many couples that have a mil subs both? PewDiePie and Marzia. UK wise, people from England, I mean, they don't even live in, live in the UK anymore. So technically, when we say UK or people from the UK, they're not even involved. I don't think anyone does. We might be the most powerful YouTube couple in the world. That's a big statement. That was, that was the most ridiculous yeah, statement yeah, that's, in the world. That's, that's <laughs> I, was, that's that's I was kidding, I was that's kidding. Sidemen take over the Little Mix and become the most subscribed team in the UK. Let's go. We have more subscribers than Little Mix. Woo! One Direction still have more. I don't know where this whole Little Mix Sidemen thing came from, but One Direction still have more. And for anyone who says, yeah, but One Direction aren't together anymore, neither are Little Mix. We were, we were the most in the UK way before that. You can just smell the amount of bread in this picture. You got the Sidemen, you got Mr. Beast, you got Carl Jacobs, Randy, Chris, Manny. Where's Laser? Is Laser even in this? I don't think Lannan's in this picture. Should he be? It's our team picture. But it was it was a selfie picture. Mr. Beast went, can I get photos? So whoever's in the room at that point, like Billy's not in this, our manager. Oh no, Lannan's literally right at the front. Never mind. Laser Beam is literally, he is arguably the most prominent person in this picture. Yeah, there's a lot of bread in that picture. Made a vintage comic book cover of Sidemen Among Us featuring Simon. That's sick. That's actually really sick. I beg you make it a whole thing. Can you make that a whole comic book and then I'll come get it from you and I'll, I'll pay you 12 cents. That's what you put on the cover. So I'll pay you 12 cents. Not my video, but it's so cool. Oh God, what is this? Chris and D's got a vendetta. The battle is between Theo and Chris, really. Would you put uh, Simon in the conversation? Oh, absolutely not. Simon's a fraud, man. You all laughed at me. What I have to say, you're not laughing now, are you? We don't really want to smoke weed, like I said. But they are laughing, because they still won. <laughs> they, are, they are literally still laughing. Vic is one of the people talking, and he got a goal. We went to do like a more Sidemen day or Sidecast or something, and we filmed it. I'm in the room when they do this. So straight away, they go, they say to Josh and Toby, oh, you know, who's danger men, who you look, who got to look out for, who's the good players on your team? And they both say, you know, Simon, Chris, blah, blah, blah. They, they say a few. Vic sits down. I don't cross his mind once. And then he goes, oh, what about Simon? He's like, oh. No. Does it full-heartedly, just doesn't doesn't even think of me in the conversation. Fair enough, but you know, without me there would be no Vic Gold. Just saying. I'm just saying. He owes me everything. When your billionaire spouse dies. You know what? I'm fuming with the celebration. I didn't get to do it properly. I didn't do the fake injury one. I decided, you know what? I'll change it up and I'll do the, the fake sue. And then as I hit the sue, I went to land. Like I wanted to land and twerk straight away. But as I landed, one of my feet slipped further out and I kind of went, all right. Yeah. A half twerk and you know what I'll leave it at that I'll just pretend I sued no one needs to know but I almost did it Simon after he turned 30 found himself a job at Chelsea that doesn't it doesn't look like me how it's just a white man I can't believe Simon's on a football app goated hell yeah I am only person to ever get a 10 rating that's right I got a 10 not 9.9 .9. I've changed my tune give a little nice funny Theo Baker quote to camera before this give a little nice funny Theo Baker quote oh, no. to camera before this I like that Harry scored a goal He's done it! Got him on, my friend! Got him oh, on, my friend! No! Got him on, my friend! Got him on, my friend! Simon, are you alright? Someone needs to tell Harry. I don't know who can tell him. His mum needs to tell him to stop touching his balls throughout every shoot. Everyone's probably touched his balls at this point. This is ridiculous. Him and Ethan, they do it and then they just touch things. It's gross. Admittedly, I know Harry is a very clean guy, so it's not as bad, but I still don't want to touch his balls. Hey, yo, Simon, is this going to be about me slapping myself in this video? Love the part where Simon actually slapped himself. Oh, well, I didn't expect that. You know what? Whatever. The whole thing about me slapping myself, right? Harry said it as a part comment he went losers should slap themselves and we all went oh, no, 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 no. then it got to the end everyone stops recording and they just kind of go off i'm mute and then i go i don't know if i'm meant to slap myself so i'll do it slap myself and i talked to the editor and he cut it out because it was after everyone had stopped recording except me so he cut it out all the comments are about how simon didn't slap himself i went on stream and slapped myself three times but obviously people don't see everything so yeah i slapped myself all right and i slapped myself three times hard yo that's sick the what's good podcast in style of a vintage comic although that could be frauded. I never know what's fraud. There's too many apps now, right? That you can just, you can literally just get a picture of someone and it'll turn it into a cartoon. So I don't even know if this is real. I made a game slash site for Simon.
Simon. I've seen this. Someone linked me this and I didn't know if it was real or not because I kind of saw it as like a link and I didn't want to click it. I want to do this on stream. I'll definitely do this for a video. It's basically just which has more views and it's videos from each of my channels. I will definitely do that. Probably on the second channel, MM7 Games. Feel free to subscribe as I upload every single day. So, wholesome Phil and oh, Simon that was moment. really good. <laughs> you juggle? This doesn't exist. Bit. Yeah? It's okay. This well, doesn't. Really, but... Oh, yes, Simon. Yeah. yeah! Look at that! Although I don't know about the other bits. Jeez! <laughs> I didn't know that would make the cut. I thought we'd only leave in bits where Phil was a dickhead. It's a shame because he's actually a really nice guy. He's a very nice guy. What would you name this single? Brother, I'm not made to box. I, I wouldn't want to post a picture where I'm boxing. I would never have a thumbnail of me boxing. It's a cool picture, but yeah, no, not for me. I'd name it, I got clarted. Gonna let them do the applause. A quick word. A quick word. <laughs> I was gassing myself, you know. Els comes over. We're doing like a lap of appreciation. We're like, oh, okay, we'll do a quick lap around the pitch. Els is like, so wait, 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 come here, come here. Can you say a quick word? So I said a quick word. That's all I do. I know it's like a seven-year-old's joke, but it was funny. Oh, to have the only exciting thing in the game happen as soon as I turn my back. <laughs> Hey, that's so true. I can't believe that the best knockdown, me and Toby looked away for one second. That is my fault. I apologize to Toby, you know. Can't believe that. I want to do a little happy birthday to Simon. We'll do it for Josh as well because I wasn't able to say happy birthday for him. So, are we ready? Uh, so, Simon and Josh. So, it's just me. <laughs> happy birthday to you. This is in Norway, happy bro. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday My guy told me he sang happy birthday for me. He didn't say Simon and Josh. He lied to me. I feel like I got half a song. How old did you turn again? What's that? Uh, how old? Hmm? Age? You're behind the camera, I can't hear you. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. What did Speed say to you, Simon? I'm gonna be honest, right? Speed is still Speed. He was actually a really nice guy. Like, he's still very outrageous, but he came over and he was literally like, yo, Minister, you were really good, bro. Well done. I was like, okay, this is this is weird. I kind of, he also was kind of like, if this was before, I think that was after the match. If it was after, that's what he said. If it was before, it's because he saw I had number seven and he was like, you can't wear number seven, bro. That's me, that's Ronaldo. That kind of stuff. He was very funny. A hotel shaped like an anus. For the bad team experience. This is amazing. Oh my god. The bad team's an anus. What's, what's the good team hotel shape? A vagina. <laughs> Made a lot of money from his personal channels last month. YouTube pays around $3 for a thousand views. Simon got over 54 million views from four channels. That made him $164,000. Right, so it's clear up, firstly. It's a very wild amount, $3 per thousand views. Very, very generic. One of my channels is a shorts channel, which I can tell you right now, $3 per thousand views. I would be uploading a million shorts a day if I got that. Also, you got to pay people, you, got to, you know. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things behind the scenes. So you may have been way off. You may have been very accurate. You may have undersold me. Who knows? I do. Did Speed hit Simon? No, everyone thinks this, right? Everyone thinks that Speed hit me when I did the Sue celebration in front of him. He didn't, it's just because I ran around, I saw him as I scored, I'd turn around, he's the closest person. I see him and I'm like, you know what, fuck it. Sue! And just because he knows, obviously I've done it to annoy him. He literally just goes like that. Like he pushes me, but the camera angle being directly behind me, it looks like he just fucking tries to punch me. He didn't. Man of the match, who do you think is the key player on your squad? Key player, Simon. That Boot of his, danger. If he shoots, it's a goal. Anywhere, any place, any where. <laughs> he is that guy. He's the one to watch out. But I have faith in Chris MD. I feel like Theo Baker. Oh, it's probably Simon. Oh, hey, JJ always believes in me, man. That's a real friend. No way Speed's boots got swiped. Nah, man, what is this? They've just taken one of Speed's boots. And I get like, okay, cool, it's Speed. Like, oh, I'm gonna, this is my chance to get a bit of fame. Cool, bruh. Like, you're actually, you're being a dickhead. You've been invited to an event and then you've ended up just 
stealing something. I don't, I don't really get it. Like, it's the kind of thing that if you actually deep it, like, okay, cool, it might get you this now, but in the future, no one's gonna wanna invite you to anything because I don't wanna leave anything around now if I know that there's a chance that this guy might take it so he can get a TikTok. People don't think shit through. I've met this guy and he seemed like a nice guy, but why has he got Speed's boot? It's just an L, man. Just, I don't, I hope that, I hope that the people watching it as well don't back it and think like, this is jokes, you've, you've stolen his boot. Because it's not, it, it's actually just, it's annoying. I don't know how's the word it other than it's an L. That's it. But yeah, turns out that this whole video was pointless. The boots got jacked. But shout out to Kit Game and shout out to Speed because he was genuinely a really nice guy, but very crazy. And thank you all. Thank you all for watching as well because that charity match, best day of my life. I'm going to do a video coming out very soon. I'm going to go through the match and, you know, talk about how I played, blah, 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 and stuff like that. So that'll be out in a couple days. The best post. Paxel, this was the best post to me. I'm going to give you $1,000 to make sure you check your Reddit messages and uh, yeah, I'll get your Discord and send you a thousand dollars. Well done. You have won a thousand dollars. That is it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys soon for another video. Peace.